for you will be nourished like a tree planted by the waters, but its leaves will be green and moist, and it will not be anxious and concerned in a year of drought, nor stop bearing fruit. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, welcome to Mimi's Art. My name is Miriam, Mimi is a nickname, and I paint acrylic paintings, and as of late I have been incorporating scripture into that because that is such an important part of my life. But I will also talk to you about the whole process of this painting. I started this painting with a black background already done and a little bit of green already worked into kind of the center of this painting. Now why I'm painting this is first off because we are kind of revamping our bathroom a little bit in our home and we needed some sort of green kind of art. So that's where the idea for this painting came from. I, we needed something um, nature-like, something green, something that would go with the rest of what we're kind of putting into that bathroom. So I'm starting this painting off with what I call the skeleton of the painting. So this is kind of like my sketch. Now, normally if there's a lighter uh, canvas, I, I could have done this with uh, a pencil, but because it's a black canvas, I just decided to go in with green, just so that it's very clear where these leaves are gonna go. So for the part that you're seeing here in the video, I'm only using two different brushes. So this is one of them. This is the bigger one. They're both angled brushes. So this is a bigger angled brush. And then I use a smaller angled brush for some smaller details later on. But yes, this is not a highly detailed painting. I thought I was going to go into a lot of detail, but I ended up not doing it because I was quite happy with what it looked like when I stepped back and looked at it after, you know, I was kind of done. So I'm going in right now with just plain it's called hooker's green and just laying down the base and I'm going to go over this with some other colors and try to blend it as much as I can while it's still sort of wet and moist. Now, why did I choose this scripture, Jeremiah 17? It's actually two verses that are really standing out here and there's so much to unpack in these verses. If you are like me and you like to go into the Strong's Concordance and like to pull everything apart and look at, you know, the, the Hebrew um, meaning of words oh my gosh you'll be just totally blown away and amazed I mean if you want to do that in your own free time I highly encourage you to do so if you don't know how go to blue letter bible online and that that should give you a little bit of an idea as to how to unpack it but there's a lot there if you're interested in me explaining that a little bit more let me know So here I'm going in with a mixture of like yellow, white, and a little bit of that hooker's green. And if you want to know what colors I've used, they will be in the description. And you will also see that I kind of sometimes am in front of my canvas with the tube and the water. I'm very sorry about that. I forgot. I got so into the, like the painting that I completely forgot that there was a camera behind me. So <laughs> I'm sorry if that pops up so once in a while. There are some parts of this painting that are sped up, but I must say this painting altogether took me just a little bit over an hour. It was done so quickly, I was so surprised. I would call this a very beginner friendly painting. And um, with this part where you see me laying down the green colors and a little bit of the other colors through it, one tip I can give you is to try to keep it wet because then it blends together the best. That's why you see me spritzing with a spray bottle onto the canvas just to try to blend it. You know, this, these are not oils, these are acrylics, they dry fast. So work fast or keep it wet. Now, 
want to go back to that scripture. I want to read the part that goes before it. So here's verse 7. Blessed with spiritual security is the man or woman who believes and trusts in and relies on the Lord and whose hope and confident expectation is the Lord. For he, you, will be nourished like a tree planted by the waters that spreads out its roots by the river and will not fear the heat when it comes, but its leaves will be green and moist and it will not be anxious and concerned in a year of drought, nor stop bearing fruit. Now, what I want to say about this is obviously we're comparing a human, a person who is trusting God with everything they are and everything they have. And it's speaking about what that will do to you as a person. Right. And it's so beautiful because I'm like, oh, it says you will not be anxious. You will not fear the heat or the drought or anything else. You will still bear fruit. In other words, if you fully trust God and you can unpack that yourself if you want, if you want me to do that, let me know. And I will absolutely do that. But if you just 100 percent trust God, you will be like a tree. You'll be like a leaf. And you know what's so cool? I will tell you here, the green, the word green does not just mean green. I looked it up in the King James in the Blue Letter Bible, and I am just blown away what that means. And as I'm actually putting more green on the canvas here, I'm just bringing some shadows back in because I felt it was a little flat, just side note. But anyway, let's go to the green part. So if you go into the King James Version and you look at um, what the word green means, it is amazing. So it means to be or grow luxuriant or fresh or green. That's the verb and the adjective is luxuriant or fresh. So you know what I did? I looked up the word luxuriant because, you know, sometimes you got to dive a little bit deeper. The Bible is great, but sometimes it's still a mystery, right? And you're just going to have to unfold it. You cannot just sit there and kind of like, well, hmm, maybe I'll just, uh, yeah, okay, I'll take this as for what it is. It's not just the word green, you guys. It's not. Let me unpack this for a second. Hold on. So, luxuriant, according to Merriam-Webster's, means yielding abundantly. It's characterized by abundant growth. Abundantly and often extravagantly rich and varied. And then the last one, characterized by luxury. I'm like blown away, you know, God is so good. God is so good. He doesn't leave us wanting or in lack. It's all in the Bible on how we can live a full and wonderful life. But anyway, it is like I, I'm blown away, you know. He just compares us to a green leaf. And this leaf is going to just... It's going to yield its fruit no matter what's going to happen. No matter what life throws at you, no matter what goes on. You will not be anxious. You will not fear. Right? Fear is not from God, you guys. Absolutely not. Okay? And, oh my word, I'm just... Oh, I could go on and on and on about this. Now, you came here for the painting probably, and I'm sorry if I... No, I'm not sorry. I will not apologize for what I believe in and for the gospel and for the word of God. I just want to throw that out there. I am not sorry. I, that's so Canadian of me. It's so silly. Back to the painting here. Here I'm putting in some highlights. Um, I just use very little colors for this painting, you guys. It's mostly green, black, and um, white, and then a couple of like blue or yellow tones just to kind of mix it up a little bit and just give it some interest. So here I'm working with my smaller angle brush and I just putting in, you know, some highlights. I do have a reference photo that I worked off of. This is not just like straight out of my mind, just so you know, I love working with reference photos absolutely nothing wrong with that because it helps you get better and better right and I just like to work off of something that I can look at because I am not really the best at creating thing images in my mind that's just no that's just not who I am I, I, I call me a copycat I still put my own spin on it I, I don't think it's cheating at all I think it still makes for beautiful paintings because it's never a complete and total copy never there's always your own little spin, your own style, your own beauty, your own uniqueness in it. 
So take that, you know, if you're a painter, don't feel bad about using reference photos at all, especially if you're doing, you know, pet portraits, you need a reference photo, right? Anyway, so yeah, I'm just putting actually in the, uh, like the little highlights here and you can see me kind of going back and forth like, oh, am I going to put it here and then pull the brush back? Like I'm thinking as I'm going and sometimes I'm like, I'm going to put it here and I go, nope, no, 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 I don't think so. And then go back or whoops, I put a little too much color, put my finger on it, smudge it out. You know, it's all good. It's your canvas. Oh, by the way, I am so thrilled because I'm actually working on a canvas here, guys. I've been working on paper. You know, it's it's meant for, you know, for paint and for other media. But um, it was so good to work on a canvas. I love how how it turns out so much better. I, I love it. I just used the paper so that I can save a little bit on uh, cost there. So, but it was beautiful to work on a canvas again. thought I was going to add more details after this and but when I stepped back I loved what I saw so I decided to rip off the tape and color done and just be very happy with the result. Thanks for watching guys stay happy keep your peace I will see you in the next video bye